I'm just going to jump straight into this video. It'll be about a few fragrances that I've been testing today. Uh, some of them I might have mentioned before, but I, I will, you know, when you try them again, you notice kind of new things about them, and I might, you know, just bring them up again, just kind of add something to my previous opinions about these fragrances. And I have two here that I will not be going full bottle. One I really almost dislike. Um, I mean, every fragrance is kind of like they have their place, but I'll start off what, with what I what I wore this morning. Uh, I wore Cow from Zoologist. I have a little decant. Uh, I already knew that I probably didn't like it that much, um, so I put it on like when I was sitting in my pajamas uh, and I was going to meditate for 30 minutes, so I could really just kind of pay attention to the fragrance. And I knew I'd be showering, be able, I would be able to you know wash it off and then move on to the next <laughs> fragrance of the day. And yes, I. Um, my opinion remains that it is not a good fragrance. It smells like uh, it smells like green apple. Green apple. Um, it does have sage. It has milk. Uh, it has like some nice florals. There's lily of the valley. Um, it has some vetiver in the base and some woodsy notes, I think. But it's just not. It's all about that green apple, and it smells like cheap shampoo, apple shampoo that I used to use myself, like when I was young, um, in Sweden. I guess people used to wash their hair in apple shampoo. And it, it, I mean, it doesn't smell like bad, like bad smell, but it certainly isn't any niche quality perfume. Um, so I'm just really disappointed. I mean, if I were to create a fragrance with the name Cow, I think I would, you know, I might put milk in there, but I think I would, I would go for like some grassy uh, notes. I mean, the vetiver makes sense, I think, but like maybe grassy notes, maybe some herbal notes. Um, this is just all about the green apple, and I, I don't like it at all. It's a little bit better when it dries down, but it's, it's really, to me, not good at all. So that will, I will not spend any more time on that. Then I moved on to Mirabil uh, from the house of, uh, from, it's called uh, Sank Canto. It's a Roman five, so it's a V, Canto, C-A-N-T-O. Uh, they have these velvety bottles with like silver tops. Pretty nice. They're they're actually quite price worthy. This house I've tried uh, cashmere earlier from the house. It's been really nice patchouli scent. I really love that. I went through a decant really fast, and I thought maybe I'll get a bottle. But then I was kind of on to something else, and now I have some other great patchoulis. I might not need that anymore. But this Mirabil, trying to think like why I don't like it. I think my the main reason is I think it's too sweet. It's uh, it has all these kind of sweet notes. It has rum. It has, I actually did bring it out on my phone here so I could kind of, um, yeah, it's lactonic for sure. It has milk, uh, it has malt, and then it has uh, an incense, a poponax, and tonka bean cloves. I mean, the, I think there's too much going on in here. There's lavender, and also the note I kind of, uh, when, I, when I used to wear it, like when I got the decant, I, I appreciated the note of bushu, also called agatho, agathosma. Uh, and when I looked that up, that's kind of a, a note that um, gives kind of a minty uh, or kind of a, an oily, like a eucalyptus kind of quality. And I can sense that a little bit in this fragrance, but it's just too little. Uh, it, there's just a hint of that. And I think that the other sweet fragrances or the fr notes take over the, this fragrance completely. There's just too much going on with all this, I don't know, there's just... Maybe there's too much rose too. I'm not quite sure. Tonka, it's just it's just really loud in a not good way. It's kind of a it's it's too the corners are too sharp. It's just not well blended. I think that if they had uh, amped up this bushu a little bit and made it interesting in that way, it might be really um, make it more wearable. But I remember when I when I was going through this mirror bill, it also this led me to like looking up other fragrances that have the note of bushu, which is really uncommon. But I did try uh, Orangerie Venice from Armani Privé, uh, and I know it's there's a really famous perfumer that made it. I was it, it, it was either Dominique Rapion or uh, I can't remember. It, a very famous perfumer made that. That is a really really nice fragrance, um, and. It, the only problem I had with that fragrance was the longevity. It didn't last that long, but that is a beautiful fragrance, and you can really pick up on that bushu note. So uh, check that out. Anyway, after I went to the gym, um, I washed off Mirabil, and I thought, goodbye, I'm not going to wear you anymore. 
uh, I went on to um, spraying on Sumo Wrestler. I'm kind of going through my decant really quickly. I love this fragrance. Uh, I think I mentioned it before. But the reason I'm bringing it up again is I kind of noticed uh, a similarity with another fragrance that I have previously liked a lot, which is uh, Bois des Îles from Chanel. Uh, they both have like sandalwood and musk. Um, and today I kind of was just noticing the similarities. But then I did try on a little of Bois des Îles. I just have a decant. It's the EDT, um, just to kind of compare them. And I really prefer Sumo Wrestler. So if you're in the States and can get a hold of Jay Scent, uh, that house, try Sumo Wrestler. It was really, really nice fragrance. Because I find that Bois d'Azile is too, a little bit too aldehydic. It's kind of that typical Chanel. I think I'm a little, little off Chanel. I think it's they're overpriced. There's so many other interesting fragrances out there from like niche houses. Um, just not as good. Sumo Wrestler is much better than Bois d'Azile. And I'm glad because I only have this much left of Bois d'Azile. And I was thinking about, you know, trying to find a bottle of EDT, the EDT version, and, and buy it. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into it now. I'm not going to get it. I think I tried also Cuir de Russie um, the other day in a department store. And I just find that it's, you know, the dry down's pretty good. But that aldehydic kind of touch in the beginning, it's just too perfumey or something. The leather note is really nice and soft. But I think I'd rather spend my money on something more interesting. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so what the, the last fragrance that I've worn today, I just kind of sprayed it onto my hands because Sumo Wrestler was kind of starting to wear off, is a, a fragrance called Kisses Rain from Renier Perfumes, uh, a Czech house, if I remember correctly. It's a really, really nice, almost gourmand uh, kind of scent. It has like cardamom, coffee, a little oud, not too heavy oud though. Um, I have it on both my hands now. It, it has a great projection. I really think it's beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of Remember Me from J Javoy. I like this better. I think I think Remember Me is a little sweeter. This one, it reminds a little bit of Indigo Tanzanite and a little bit of also Starlight from Zerjoff. But this is like, oh, I think it's so beautiful. I mean, there are other there's other stuff in here too, but it's definitely pretty heavy on the, the card mom, I think. And coffee but coffee in a kind of a subtle way um yeah i'm going out tonight to like a it's kind of a women's get together for like all the women in this neighborhood um and i thought i'm going kind of with a hidden agenda because i <laughs> not really but i need since i'm net i need to network because i'm looking for work and i know a lot of people have like moved into this area and a lot of them are like managers and they run their own companies and i just kind of need to expose myself to people uh, the, the latest news from my, you know, work, looking for work is that it's not going that well and like, especially not applying for jobs, looking at ads and sending in my, my papers. It's just, someone told me today, like the chance of getting something that way is like 1% and you get jobs through contacts. So that's what I'm going to focus on actually. And I'm, uh, yeah, I, I need to meet people like every day, like new people, not the people that I already know, but new people. And that's a little difficult sometimes when you don't have a job. So I'm going to make a little bit more effort to, um, uh, to get to know new people. So um, I might be wearing Kisses Rain tonight because I think it's a really perfect kind of like autumn evening fragrance. Uh, it's kind of non-offensive. I think anybody would like it. It's just like a really cozy, nice, um, delicious kind of fragrance without going like over that sweetness fence it um it's not too sweet it's but it still has that little bit of a gourmand kind of touch i i really like this fragrance kisses rain um i don't know where you can get a hold of it i've been looking around to see where i can get it but uh, my friend gave me this decant i guess i'll have to ask her where she got her bottle or maybe she got it secondhand i'm not sure but i don't think they sell it they don't sell these fragrances just anywhere so you have to kind of look around and then you have to like see about shipping. I just think usually it's too complicated. I shop around here or when I'm traveling. So um, I don't know. Maybe I will get another decant from her. Um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, anyway, that was all for today. Thanks for listening.